Hello everyone, Russell Goramax Pets here. This larger specimen of Armadillidium klugai Montenegro is what I would call a typical specimen of this locality. It has the red skirting, it has three rows of white spots, the spots are fairly pronounced. Fairly typical except for the fact that many specimens also have yellow spots, while this one only has white spots. But many in my colony do have yellow spotting in addition to the white spotting. Some time ago I was during a live stream showing my Armadillidium klugai Montenegro colony and uh, some of the viewers noticed and I noticed as well that there were some atypical specimens in the colony and I would like to show you some of those. Quite a number of them had spots like these, much smaller than average. Some of them were nearly spotless. I don't think I have any of those in here but the spots are normal in number but in terms of size of the spots much much smaller than the typical specimen I showed you earlier. But the one that kind of blew my mind was this specimen. Look at the size of those spots. Not only is there a row of yellow spots down the center, but those yellow spots are much bigger, almost splotches. And the same is, is true of the white spots. They're almost splotches, especially on the left side. But I would say, all in all, they're much bigger than average and much more irregular. But that neon yellow striping right down the middle is pretty amazing. I've had this Armadillidium klugai stock for a long time, so long ago that I don't think there were other localities of klugai in the hobby yet, and I haven't mixed them with anything. I just think that uh, after quite a while of genetic isolation in this small culture, we've got some interesting things going on. Just goes to show you that it pays to look closely at your cultures and find out what sort of variation you've got going there. You may just have the opportunity to uh, produce a new morph. So you never know. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment if you haven't already. Subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.